when you say it never happened to you before, you've had relationships with 30 plus year age difference women, but you think those were not genuine intention. Women. No, no. But, or, but this girl is a good girl with, with good heart, genuine intentions to have a happy family. Yes. And now you have this big age gap. What's your predicament, if you could share? It is a predicament. Mm -hmm. what, predicament what? because we're both uh, connected. We both have, we have a relationship, a real relationship. Mm -hmm. We're both uh, invested emotionally. For six months. Yeah, and uh, uh, there's love that's that is built, mm -hmm. trust that's built. Mm -hmm. uh, she genuinely, I believe, in love with me and trusts me, and vice versa. So we have this predicament now. So there's a thirty year old, thirty a year uh, age gap. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> how, uh, my predicament, being a thinking man, is uh, how can I possibly uh, live the rest of my life? with a woman that's 30 years difference in me. Mm -hmm. As much as I, I love it now, there's this other side of me thinking, this is doomed. Mm -hmm. Well, because so we, I have this... I'm 50. This I see the physical <coughs> changes yes. more rapidly now. Yes. Uh, whereas when I was 40, honestly, I didn't see any, very little difference to 20 or, or 30. But now it seems like age is an exponential or can be exponential. And so maybe you're seeing this exponential factor for you kicking in. Sure. And she's still at that 30 year age. And yeah, where's this going? Where's What's the next five, 10 five. years going to look five, like? Five, I, I could live five and, mm -hmm. and not have any problem with that. I mean, just looking at five years, I say yeah. five years is not a problem. 10 years. When I look out 10 years to what I'll be at 10 years, even if I stay in really good health and, you, and good shape. You, you, and my health is you perfect. You go to the gym. Yeah, my health is you perfect. Jog. I have absolutely no physical problems You're at all. way above the average American in terms of your physical fitness. And another 10 years, I figure I have 10 good years. Okay, so let's mm -hmm. be practical about this. Mm -hmm. In 10 years, she'll be 40. Mm -hmm. I'll be 70. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's going to be in the prime of life. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be one foot in the grave. Mm -hmm. how, am I, how am I possibly going to maintain a relationship, a real relationship? Now, I'm not saying it can't be done, but these are the thoughts I think all the time as a practical man. Yeah. So, I'm, And you don't want to get your heart broken even more. I, I'm just being, I don't even know how the end, the end of this could take it. I, I don't know. I'm just being, sharing some of my thoughts right now. These yeah. are the, the single biggest biggest issue for me is the difference in age. Mm -hmm. These ladies are open to an age gap. Yeah. And because they, don't they see the even, inner man, right? They, they do. fall they, in love with the soul and the, they and do. the mind. They look I, for that. They look for that. I, I've been told that countless times. Yes. They, they're they not so hung up on the exterior beauty like the Western woman is. Uh, Youth, youth, uh, a whole youth culture in America, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and these women are more family culture. They want a, they want a, a man they can trust. They want a man with a good heart that's going to treat them right. It's going to take care of them. All the very things we talked about mm -hmm. earlier. That's what they look for. And if they make that connection, mm -hmm. I mean, they don't really care if you got, uh, you know, a little beer gut here and no hair and not the best looking guy, you know. But but if you've got that connection with them in the heart. Mm -hmm. And here you are. With and, uh, now, yeah, and well, a thirty-year difference. What do I do now? Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the epitome of a predicament. It is a predicament. I, I, I see. Uh, I see. And so your point is, again, be really raw and real. Yeah. I don't don't go there in the first place with a thirty-year age gap. Not if more you're, than twenty. Years. Not if you are wanting a lifetime partner and a mm -hmm. serious woman, a marriage mm -hmm. that is has a high success rate. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Stay away from the, the little girls and the young girls. Stay away from that 30 year. Yeah. It just, no matter if you make a connection, what are you going to do with it? Yeah. Now, if you just want a short term relation, okay, but if you want something for the rest of your life, mm -hmm. uh, my suggestion is stay in the, the fish in the pond that is the age group appropriate mm -hmm. for you. 10 to 20 years. I would say 10 to 20. 20 mm -hmm. would be on the, yeah, if, it, depending on who you are and mm -hmm. what kind of a shape you're in. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> 20 yeah. years. But I would stay in the 10 to 15 and feel pretty safe about it. Thank you, Art, so much. <laughs> You've been fantastic to talk yeah. to. Well, Thank you very much for being so My broad, pleasure. You know. I, I know it'll help. It I will. hope it does. Yeah. Thanks again, Art.
I tell you, my experience has been one of the, the very first red flags that I watch for is their attitude and body language towards me. When, on the first meeting? First meeting. Mm -hmm. Do they uh, act like they're really interested? Mm -hmm. Do they act bored? Mm -hmm. uh, do they enter into the conversation? Do they ask you questions? Do they ask questions? Oh.